Hello there. Uh, Crank It Up is here with uh, Lockup. And please introduce yourself. I'm Thomas. Anton. Very nice to meet you. So, you're here in Stockholm. How does that feel? <laughs> yeah, it's cool. It's my first time in Sweden. First time ever. So, uh, it's cool. And uh, there's uh, a lot of uh, legendary people on the guest list tonight. So, I'm getting a bit nervous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're just old farts anyway. <laughs> <laughs> just like us. <laughs> I noticed that you haven't really played in Sweden before that much. So, uh, why is that? Oh, well, we haven't played much anywhere, really. Yeah, we haven't played much at all. But, um, but you guys played back when... Yeah, the Hulstead Festival, yeah. Back in 2003 or something. 2002. Long time ago. Some of these people were 12 years old. <laughs> oh, for those who don't know about the band, could you tell us a bit about the band? Well, it's just uh, four blokes uh, into playing the most extreme shit we can think of, actually, you know. Uh, focus on the old school death metal and uh, hardcore grind stuff, you know. I guess that's it, you know, we've been putting out like three records by now. And, uh, yeah, the, the, the idea, I think that the original idea was, and, and the, 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 like the base of the band was um, Nick and Shane. Nick Barker, Shane Emery, you know, legendary people. So, uh, and um, they were on the first two albums, they had Jesse Pintado with them. May rest in peace. And, um, and on the first album, it was um, Peter from Hypocrisy. Peter, Singing exactly. Peter. And uh, on the second album, he joined, and I joined on the third album. Uh, the latest album was released last year. Yeah. Tell us a little bit. How does it differ from the previous ones? Well, it's it's more uh, hectic, I think. You know, more uh, riff orientated. Um, I think it's more manic, you know, more more uh, intricate stuff and... Uh... Yeah, but it's funny because I think that, uh, yeah, on the one hand it's true, it's very busy and very manic and uh, and uh, there's a lot going on, but on the, at the same time the production is, is clearer, so you can tell what's going on, really. Because sometimes when it's too much going on and the sound is a bit muddy, then you can't really, you know, understand what's going on. But for this I think that um, it's pretty intelligible. You know? We're very happy with the production and, and how yeah. it came out. Yeah, yeah. it's fast. <laughs> it's a fast album. Thing. Yeah. <clears throat> well, uh, we haven't mellowed out. If that, if that's what you're worried about. <laughs> well, that's good. That's very good. <laughs> a lot of people are talking about Lockup as a super group. What do you guys think about that? Well, I think it's a curse uh, sometimes. You know, because we just poor blokes want to play stu stupid fast shit. You know, <laughs> as. Uh, it, it raises kind of the, the the wrong attention, I think, to the band. I mean, if they come to the show or, or listen to the record, they perceive it. If, it. if they didn't know it was these four blokes, they would perceive it differently, I think, you know, and it's... Uh, yeah, but would they come to the show? That's, that's <laughs> the idea, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's uh, different in a way, because people get different ex expectations, you know. I want, I want what we do to stand up, if, if, you know, Regardless of what we've done, done before, that's that's important to me. That the band is like good enough to stand on its own feet, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah and I think it, it's not too similar from to to any of our other no, you know bands or projects. So, so, so <coughs> I think we succeeded in that. Yeah. Because uh, you guys have been involved in uh, other project bands on um, the old grind court or, mm -hmm. or whatever. Uh, not as extreme, so I think it's very good that people can see this side of you guys. Mm. It's well, a, the the, the yeah. thing is, I think we, we have a, a shared love and passion for, you know, the real old school, you know, early Slayer, you know, Dark Angel, Possessed, Repulsion, Discharge, that sort of shit, you know, Venom, yeah, all we, sorts of... We all have of, the same you know. perception of that as well, I mean, we, we know what's good and bad with the old school stuff as well, and we have the same, because we grew up at the same same time. So when we talk about something, we know we know everybody else in the band knows yeah. what's going on. We speak the same language in that respect. Because <clears throat> yeah. we're all farts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
You don't need to say it again. <laughs> <laughs> they got the idea. But uh, you guys are from a lot of well, different countries, different parts of the world. How, how come you? How come you just joined forces? I guess because you live so far apart. Uh, well, as Anton was saying, it's the, the core of the band was Nick and Shane, and they lived pretty close to each other. And then, you know, they wanted to bring some of their, you know, favorite people in, I guess, you know. So, uh, from, and it's a chance to meet as well, you know, because we live far away, so we can actually hang out during the tours and recordings or whatever, you know. It's an excuse to hang out. <laughs> yeah. I think, yeah. What about the craziest shit that's happened in tour with you guys? It's too much stuff, shit like that, isn't it? We, uh... If you could pick one story, what would it be? Well, I haven't been with the band for long enough. I suppose, like, there's... I know there was one story involving a BJ and a getting up on stage late at With Full Force. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> when, 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 when we, uh, yeah, when Jesse didn't come to the... I mean, all respect to Jesse, but, you know, it's... We'd had the intro going and we couldn't find him and... You know, the intro was long, but it, we had to shut it up and we couldn't find him. So we had to wait 10 more minutes be before he showed up. But eventually he came, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, then... In the, both respects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, <laughs> yeah, it was, it was crazy. It was a late show and all that, yeah. Is there anything you want to say to the leaders of Frank It Up? Uh, well, I mean, uh, as I said before, I think, you know, it's... Uh, Throw, throw this supergroup tag away and try try to listen to it with open ears and see what if you you know if you're still into it. I mean it's pretty full on brutal death grind. So mm. I couldn't agree more. Well, what can we expect tonight? Well, uh, intensity. I, I, yeah, intensity. Speed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Violence. <laughs> tonight is young. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Crack it up, homo rock! <laughs> <laughs>